What's up, y'all? Hey, so man, um, I'm outside my son's school. When he get out, shit, probably like a little bit less than an hour, probably 40 minutes. So I'm gonna make probably like a couple videos, man, while I'm out here waiting and shit till they get out. But uh, with this first video, I want to talk about, <clears throat> as we all know, um, J Rock pulled out of the Jason Rosario fight, right? So now I seen Tony Harrison um, reacted to the shit, and he was like, "I, I don't understand." And then, um, okay, I'm I, when I heard that, when I heard him J Rock pulling out a Jason Rosario fight, the first thing I think is J Rock versus Tony Harrison. That's just the first thing that come to my mind. And, and Jason Rosario versus Jamel Charlo. That's just what I think about about the situation. And um. I'm gonna start off with uh, what's the? I'm gonna start, uh, well, like I said, I'm gonna do both of them. I'm gonna talk about both matches, but this video we're gonna stick on J Rock versus Tony Harrison, man. So I think this is a great fight, man. Great fight, great fight, man. Philly versus Detroit, man. Crazy, man. This 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 gonna be a crazy fight. I, I'm really torn between the two because because I like them both. I like J-Rock and Tony Harrison. I ain't like what Tony Harrison just did with the bottle situation on Jamel Charlo, but, you know what I'm saying? You got to keep it moving. We ain't still talking about that shit. This shit over with. So, um, Tony Harrison versus <laughs> J-Rock. Julian Williams, man. Um, That's going to be a crazy fight, but I'm wondering if J-Rock want to go straight into another hard fight because... I don't even know why he pulled out of the Jason Rosario fight. I mean, and I don't blame him for doing it. If he feel like he ain't ready to fight that particular style yet, then he want him to go ahead and fight Jamel Charlo, see what he can see from that. Then go on that, then that's how he feel. But other than that, man, I'm all good with the situation. I want to see Tony Harrison versus J-Rock. So... I don't know who to pick, man, right now. But if I'm going to jump off the ledge, man, and just pick somebody, I'll say Tony Harrison. Tony Harrison, man. Um, both of them great fighters, man. And um, both of them bounce. I seen both of them bounce back from losses. J-Rock bounced back from the Jamal Charlo loss. Tony Harrison bounced back from the uh, Jerry Heard loss. I mean, both of them, was, they, they got familiar, uh, similar paths. Because, like I said, J Rock got stopped by J Hurd. Tony Harrison got stopped by motherfucker. Damn. No, no, I'm tripping. I don't know. Scratch that. J Rock got stopped by Jamal Charlo. Tony Harrison got stopped by Jamel Charlo. And J Hurd. But J Rock beat J Hurd. So, this is just one of them type of matches, man. We know 154 division is one of the best divisions, man. But. Um, I like Tony Harrison's style a little bit better. I ain't gonna lie. Um, but J Rock can pull that fight off though. He can pull that fight off, man. Um, cause Tony Harrison got a little bit of stamina issues, I think. And, and, and J Rock, we don't know how how his chin gonna hold up. Cause Tony Harrison can punch, man. He can punch. I watched Tony Harrison hurt. I watched him hurt Jamel Charlo a, a few times in that fight, man. He both fights. He 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 hurt him and buzzed him a couple times, man. And Jamel just got a good ass chin. I watched Tony Harrison hurt. Um, I watched him hurt Jerry Hurt, but I watched J Rod hurt Jerry Hurt and drop his ass. So it's like, man, it's hard to like analyze this shit because both of these dudes similar, man, and it's just really a toss up. But if I'm going to pick somebody right now, until I start seeing the build up, seeing how people talking, seeing how both of them talking, how the team's looking, how J-Rock talking after the loss, how how Tony Harrison, it seemed like Tony Harrison, all right now, other than the bottle situation, it seemed like he all right. So, I got to see, like, the camps, you know what I'm saying? I got to see some, because I might change my mind. But right now, if I just jump off a ledge, I'll pick Tony Harrison, man. This should be a great fight. Like I feel like all great fights that ain't pay-per-view level should be on pay-per-view undercard co-main event. Like 
Because we'd be having so many pay-per-views a year. I mean, why not? I feel like the Wilder versus Fury 2 um, pay-per-view was wasted pretty much for the undercard. It was it was pretty much wasted. You know what I mean? Good-ass fights could have been on that undercard. That could have been lit, but, you know, whatever with that. But, like, for instance, we know we know Tank and Leo going to be on um, pay-per-view, right? You know what I'm saying? That's an option. We got Earl Spence versus Danny Garcia or Manny Pacquiao. That's another option. Wilder Fury might fight again. Wilder Fury 3. That's an option for the undercard. I mean, put these dudes on one of them undercards, man. Um, so, just like the cattle plant, David Bitty Vida, put that shit on one of these pay-per-view undercards because we ready to see some of these unifications, man. And, um... I'm uh going. I ain't going to drag this on. I really want to hear y'all picks and who y'all think, who who y'all picking. Just drop that shit. Drop that shit down in the comments. Who y'all want, who y'all think going to win. I'm just going to, right now, I'm picking Tony Harris. And we'll see, you know what I'm saying, as the time go on and shit like that, I might change my mind, I might not, but we'll see. So let me know on that. And then I'm going to do this other video with Jamel Charlo versus uh, Jason Rosario. I'm out.